What cartel thing the name before Gaza? Them they know one Gaza. Gaza for life. I got me say a border line it the name. Border line. Or it changed from border line. She border run out in a one place same day on the border line. And do up the whole border line. And busy come jump a song, say, yeah, they on the border line. Remember, busy sing that my cartel change the name to Gaza. You know? No, for them not know that. So, Futa Hype right here is like a lot of Gaza fans coming at him. We see Futa Hype put out some more things about busy signal and vibes cartel. Also, Skeng is like Skeng get dark on stage after. A lot of water spraying him face almost drown him. Yes, people is like Skeng almost threw a bottle in the crowd. Yes, people also. Sean Paul hits 1 billion milestone on Spotify with his collaboration with Dua Lipa. Yes, people plus, we're gonna talk about the situation with Philip Paulwell. Yes, people is like we see a voice note circulating. Also, we see a video circulating with Valiant. Some people are saying that his show in Miami flop. Yo, Reggae Media TV, Bada Dan, everything we bad. Are we mad at Dan? Everything we mad. So, right here is like Futa Hype address the Gaza fans after a lot of them bashing him. After he said that Busy Signal is bigger than Vibes Cartel. Along with that, we see Futa Hype. Reveal how busy signal make Vibes Cartel change the name from Borderline to Gaza. It's like Futa Hyper say a busy signal of the artist after him put out a song and talk a bag of things. You know how them depend on the Borderline that lead Vibes Cartel to change the name to Gaza. So it's like Futa Hyper say no for Vibes Cartel fans them attack but them don't know the history. Check this out right here. What me I say? We have to just be realistic. Ladies are uh, make dopey over sting. Quick and fast, Macadam and get a beat over there. You understand me? Say, you have to be realistic. Music and history are just the truth. You can't, you can't fine tune the truth to suit yourself. Uh, you can't have some warrior fight for something and them don't know what they fight for. Most of the Gaza fans them don't know what they fight for. You know? Me I talk to Gaza fans where I war me for cartel like me eat cartel. Me not eat cartel but I have to speak the truth. Zin, them I war me say, um, um, Gaza, Gaza. So me say, what cartel thing the name before Gaza? Them they know one Gaza, Gaza for life. I got me say a border line it the name. Border line. Or it changed from border line. She border run out in a one place same day on the border line and do up the whole border line. And busy come jump a song say, yeah, they on the border line. Remember, busy sing that my cartel change the name to Gaza. You know? No for them not know that. No Gaza fans don't know that, you know. Them never know say one thing that go on with busy and cartel. You know? And when busy sing, you're there on the border line. I saw cartel embarrassed by it and change the name to Empire from early. We are talking about when he changed the name from borderline to Gaza. So cartel fans need to go study cartel first before you even try to talk to a man like me. You understand me, I say? So please. And it's not cartel name it no Pope more Empire Deva Brat. Deva Brat. People may I show you an exact example of what a Gaza fan is. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can show you. See me pin the comment here. Futa, you got kids. Please don't tell them about the winner's thing. Because when them watch the clip, them are going to say, you crazy. All Gaza fans have to do is watch edited clips and cut and pierce and where them chop, chop up. Me did de -de. I can tell my kids that cartel lost the clash. I was there. 
I'm not depending on video clips to tell my kids I was there. And if I want to put up clip, I can put up the ninja man part of the clip that is asking the, most of the video them where Gaza fans are watch does not have the conclusion when ninja man asks the crowd more than once, more than twice. Who win the clash and the whole venue say Movado? So why am I hearing about video clips? And if you stop it, stop it. Uno are gonna make people have to prove on the wrong and it's gonna end up look like people a fight cartel and nobody now fight vibes cartel. Vibes cartel is one of the greats. Don't get me wrong. So Skeng almost threw a bottle in the crowd during his recent performance right here. Well, glad him never threw that battle in the crowd after they were spraying water in his face on a stage during his performance is like skin get dark. So some people are saying that Valiant show flop in Miami is like the crowd never respond, you know, and right here is like Valiant him a try wake up the crowd, but it's like people never interact the way how him did expect it, the way how it seem right here. <laughs> So a lot of people are curious after seeing Lady Patra right here on set. You know, it's like them I wonder if she dip on drugs. As you can see, some of the comments right here this person posts prayers up. An next person saying, no disrespect. She look like she on drugs. As you can see, more similar comments right here. It's like people I wonder how she looks so. You know, Lady Patra been off the scene for a while now. So when people see this, it's like them I go wonder what she have been up to. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, so moving along the next topic right here, Sean Paul 2016 hit, no lie with English singer, Dua Lipa surpass 1 billion plays on Spotify on Friday, October 6th. Yes, people, this is a milestone, you know, some people overall streaming on Spotify is 1 billion, so this right here is just for this hit song. Yeah, people, so this mark his first billion play track as a lead artist on Spotify and the fifth Jamaican led song overall to hit this milestone on the platform. During a recent interview, Sean Paul told Dan Salmag that he is humbled by the career achievement. His exact words have always tried to emulate the greats in the journey. We all learn from our elders, so all I can say is thank you to them for showing me the way. And thanks to the fans, it is really humbling. Okay, so people, right here we see this voice note circulating about Philip Palwell, baby mother, and his 10 month old daughter. It's like this person right here revealing what behind this whole thing, the situation, and how they got taken out. Um, on the day of hired a man to kill 
the child and the second baby mama. That morning, Philip went jogging. She gave the man the car and the man drove the car to the baby mama's house. That's why she went in the car because it was Philip's car. So she was right to say Philip sent for her. But Philip didn't notice, so she goes and the man does them. So Leoda paid the man. But Leoda now wants the man dead. So she hires another man to go and kill the first man. Oh my God, Pat, I, I'm in shock. So I said, this is a Dateline series. Well, the second man shoots and misses the first man. So the first man realizes that Leoda setting up to kill him, so she has no witnesses. And he went to the police and said to the police, here's where the body is. I'm confessing to everything. Here is all the details. So that's how they found the body. And that's how they have the evidence. And so I don't know who the third man is, but Leota is a female. The first man who did the killing, the second man who went to shoot the first man. And no, she dangerous, Pat. Holy mother of God. And as I told you, she was in the house that the day they were abducted. So she knew everything that the police was doing. So she was always one step ahead of the police because she was listening to everything in Philip's house. Anyway, Philip, God bless him. Uh, my friend said he spoke to him yesterday and just said, look here, you need to heal for you. But he was trying to find a counselor for the daughter for him and Leoda and even though that child is Philip's image I just said to the friend Philip needed the DNA before he took on any more children so he's he's looking after the daughter can you believe it Pat can you believe it all right so bless upon yourself people guidance protection until next time I'm out scratch yo reggae media TV badder than everything we're bad are we mad at done? Everything we're mad.